fuck off. That's what, you keep saying that to children. It's because they won't fuck off. Uh, wait, how do I do the thing again? Nope. Telephone. Telephone? You know when you're trying to ring someone you accidentally leave the house? <laughs> yeah. I have a slight stomach ache because when I got out of the bath, <laughs> do you know what? I, I was a bit hungry, so do you know what I did? <laughs> what I ate a slab of constructible gingerbread. And I'll be honest, the main discovery I've made about constructible gingerbread is it is in no way delicious. It's it's fine. Purely functional. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like eating cardboard. Basically, when it was when it, I was told there'll be a lot of constructible gingerbread left, I was told no one's going to really want loads of it because it's not that delicious. And I was offended on behalf of biscuits. But I don't have any change. Oh. Reach into my pocket. <laughs> I like that don't buy. You're really nice. Oh, my God. Thanks. What kind of drink do you recommend? <laughs> It's like a bartender. Mm, let's see. Do we actually get to choose? Oh, yes. Why? I mean, I recommend... I mean... What is this jet soda just like? That's just going to be fizzy water. You can't give him fizzy water, because then that's a, that's against I mean, the okay, Geneva we'll Convention. The, we'll do the classic jet cola. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with the classic. Is he... What? I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. What? What? Give my regards to Talsa. Can I not choose? What? Well, Thanks again. What's... But, what? What was, what was any of that, by the way? Well, maybe that'll come back to bite us in the arse now. Probably. Because we're like, oh, I'd help you, but you didn't buy me a drink. <laughs> like, like, like he's hanging by his fingertips on a cliff edge, and that guy comes to save him, he's like, well, I bet you wish you'd bought me a cola now, bitch. Hey, Ryo! Do you know a guy named Charlie? At Tsuruoka's place. Sur- <laughs> jacket shop. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love Rio because he's like, don't worry, player, I've got you. I know, I know what he's talking yeah. about, the jacket shop. Oh, yeah. That's what everyone says about Shenmue, is that it is incredibly user-friendly. Does that mean I have to go there at, like... He's not going to be at a... He's not going to be at a bar, is he? Oh, go fuck yourself, Rio. He's not at a bar. Just... Oh, my God. What is it? Bar. He frequents that area around seven. Good. We've just got to fucking wank in the street until seven. I wish you could like use kill your yourself. Watch. Let's get sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Right, do I do? I do? Crouching tiger, hidden dog shit. I wish I hadn't made fun of Rio. He looked like he kicked the shit oh. out of me. Okay, so if he can do all this, why is the combat system all quick time events and can fuck off? No, I think it isn't sometimes. Okay, sometimes it's good. Just be the best at pressing the square button. Give you a run for your money. I play Dynasty Warriors. Or as the game should be known, I'm very sorry to my square button. I know an awful lot about the theory of doing good drawings, but then something happens between my brain and my hand that makes it come out like a five-year-old did it. There's not really any, like, fun kind of... Anything. Well, that just sums up Shenmue. There's not really any kind of fun. Okay. I don't know how they've managed it, but this is, if anything, more boring. Reminds me of the old cartoon. I'm literally just... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was just mashing buttons. I have no idea You mashed buttons. A, a message appeared for like... What? Oh! What? Are you learning new moves? I think so. The look, end. look, I'm playing Shenmue. Am I cool yet? You know what? I could really go for a cup of tea. This was my, my dad made this. He must have offered you one. Yeah. I, and what did you say? Did you say yes, thank you? No, I said no. Didn't think that one through, did you? It's when I get really angry. Why have you not? Why have you unlearned? But this guy he looks like a he looks like a croupier who's ready for all weathers. I also like the idea of him just standing there. No, I, what I like is there are these two guys who are like, you can fuck off or I'll fight you. And they look like they're playing Flappy Bird. <laughs> it's like, you go away from me, I'm playing Flappy Bird. Interesting. Dandy, dandy old man. Oh no, Bosnob. <laughs> what the fuck is Bosnob? Do you want Dandy old man? No, I want to Bosnob.
<laughs> oh, is it like short for Bossa Nova or something? No. <laughs> Such a disappointment. I used to have this game. You like to... actual on Sega. Wow. Did you get it when it first came out? Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Good. Oh, you, well, luckily we're in the presence of an expert. Oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, it was oh a God. fucking shit show, and I wasn't very good at it because I was five. Extended play. Oh, every time you make a lap, you get to play a bit longer. Oh, my oh, God. Shit. <laughs> my God. 1985, and you were five when this came out, apparently. I mean, I didn't... I always knew that I you were... I had it, you know. 1980. Hey, when did you turn 40 this year? Yeah, no, I remember it being... I think it might be those guys that are in Is this there. story... Is, is this game about, like, teenagers young versioning homosexuality? <laughs> okay, this is, like, one where I'm actually just fighting. Yeah, I can tell. Because he's flailing around like he dragged him out of the pond he usually lives in. Oh, that was fucking arousing. Even the health bar looks like anal beads. But the guys that you fought with, I guess they don't know where it is, but the two guys sort of sitting in a children's arcade playing Flappy Bird and threatening children. They know where it is. You can't... Oh, why would you think that you could go in that gap? Just go to the door. Don't try and test the limits of this game. It was on the fucking Dreamcast. The Dreamcast died a death because you couldn't fit between a building and a motorcycle. Sorry, man. We're closed. <laughs> it's a big open. sign right behind him that says open. I just figured you've got perfect... Oh. Oh. Nice color. Oh. No sack. Oh my god! Oh my god! Do you want to tattoo me or fuck me? That was one of the worst things that's ever happened in front of me. You have great skin. No sag. After the definitely not paedophile attempted to definitely not have sex with Rio. Yeah. Um, that's that the conclusion of our episode. Mummy! I mean, he's got Mommy, a Mummy, I had a big fight today. <laughs> they were really mean to me. And one of them was really nice to me, yeah. but in a but not okay were... way. I did not wish to nag you, but... I've, I've never cut. had a game bollock me for having fun. <laughs> it's, like, insane that this is a thing. I, I preferred it when it was being boring. Because when the plot progressed, I felt a bit icky. When you have to, like, fit in loads of things at the last oh, minute. Oh, I mean, that's certainly what that man was intending on doing. I love how you have to, like, kill time early in the day, and then the minute it becomes seven o'clock, you have, like, hardly any time to do any of the things you need to do. He's a busy boy. He's got to go to the arcade, play with some toys, <laughs> k kill some men, and almost be fucked by a man. I think I did pretty well in the uh, the punching, though. You did. You did good at punching. Very few of your anal beads were extinguished. <laughs> Do you know where I can find slumbers? 